Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on the ICT Future Skills channel. Today we'll be looking at the Inkscape tutorial on how to create the, ang the Angry Bird, alright? Okay so, as you can see here there are three diagrams from the left to the right. Okay, So in this tutorial we'll be covering these topics, the pick tool, the shape tool, settings, view default, duplicate, Duplicating object, Control D, perfect circle. Press the Control and the ellipse button. Color and stroke. Transparency and alpha settings. Polygon tool. Object to path. Okay, which will open up path union and path intersect. And also the gradient effect. Okay, it may be quite a bit here, but as you can see later on, it will be quite easy as we go on. Okay, so your Inkscape software will have these two important tools over here, which is the pick tool and the shape tool all right and the shape tool will work very nicely with the object to path okay now what you can see here all right is um you can pause the screen later on to take a look at the instructions on how to get from the perfect circle all the way to the angry bird or the happy bird in our case because it's a smiley bird okay and subsequently you can actually make the other birds based on any other shapes that you want right so let me jump onto the Inkscape platform right okay which I've created here so I'm just gonna start from scratch alright so at the beginning of your Inkscape once you've activated your Inkscape environment software you have to go to view default okay view default so we're gonna go view default now when you do that you'll notice the taskbar appears on top right here and this will be very useful for your subsequent work okay so first I'm just going to go zoom quickly going to the circle so I'm just going to press this ellipse tool all right and draw a circle okay notice there's nothing here perhaps because we to choose a color all right now at the bottom here the color is transparent all the way to all the choices of colors to from the left to right. So I'm going to start with the yellow. All right. Notice that if I do not press Control, I'll get a, an oval. So I'm just going to delete that. Press Delete, and I'm just going to go back to the Ellipse tool and press Control, and create a perfect circle. Okay. Next, I'm going to press Shift, and I'm going to choose the black color over here. Now immediately I have a an outline. That happens when I press shift with another color, as you can see over there. Okay, let me just continue with the black. Okay, now at the bottom of the screen, as you can see now, there's 33.4. Perhaps there's going to be a smaller number at the start. So when you click this way down over here, you're going to be this panel is going to be activated. So by default, okay. Now work with points. Normally I work with ten points. Okay, if it's a bit too small for your picture, so maybe you can increase that one. Maybe all the way up to maybe fifty. Okay, depending on the stroke size that will match nicely with your diagram. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on to make the oval. All right. Now once you create do do the settings on the stroke and the color. It is just gonna duplicate the last move that you make. Now, for some of you, you may have accidentally activated this type of circle, right? So, there's a comp these are the arc and uh, it's an arc, and this is a part of a circle, partial circle, but this is the full circle that we want. Okay, and I'm gonna use Control D to duplicate. So I have two objects over here. Okay, so um, just in case, now the field earlier on, right, some of you may have this opacity down to zero, so you have to set this opacity to 100. This is like a transparency effect. Okay, now I'm going to quickly turn this with the shape tool. I'm still working with the shape tool, so I'm going to click and turn. Alright, maybe the 
Okay, I'm just going to scale this up a bit. So select all, press control and make it bigger. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn the first one. One click, two clicks and turn that way. And another click, turn and overlap. All right. So these two, next is we're going to, okay, that's a pick tool. Okay. I'm going to go to use, to use the polygon tool to make the beak. So a beak. Now by default it could be any number. So I'm just gonna use go up here. Okay, I'm gonna choose it to three. My rounded should be zero, so the triangle will not be there's no rounding effect. Okay, zero, it's a sharp beak. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this, control D again, and I'm gonna flip it down. Okay, and I'm gonna stretch this one out here a bit okay notice when you stretch it becomes a bit thicker okay the outline but that's it's okay we're gonna reset all the outline to a single value okay and now the bird doesn't look it's smiling so we can repair that later on okay from an angry bird to a happy bird okay now the eyes again circles one circle, perfect circle, duplicate, just did a control D there, okay, and then control, right, okay, the color is black, it's gonna be white, okay, so we're here, okay, now we're gonna put this eyes over here, a bit too small, okay, try to maintain the ratio, so I'm going to use the big tool and maybe it looks a bit like this. It's kind of weird though, but it works. Okay, we can always use the arrow tool, right, to move things around. Okay. Now at this juncture, if I press page up, page down, okay, I can bring objects back off to the front layers. Okay, there's some layering going on. Okay, are we almost done? Okay, now this object, I'm gonna press shift, shift, and click, shift and click. So I've selected these three objects. I'm gonna go to path, I'm gonna go to union, right? Path union. So I have this. Okay, it may not look like the original, but it's looking like a rabbit right now. So I'm gonna just go undo a bit. Undo, okay, maybe this, maybe up here, right? Okay. Shift, 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 and click, and path union. Okay, looking better right now. Slightly better. Notice that the beak and the eye should be lower. Yes, okay. Now for the eyebrows. Quickly. A rectangle. Now the eyebrows, if you notice very carefully, okay, it's a bit uh, like a distorted. Rectangle. So what you're going to do is pick the shape tool, activate the number 8 over here, which is the sh um, object to path, which can be done over here too, object to path. Okay, so object to path, I can now shape it any way I want. Right, okay, so I have uh, this kind of triangle over here for the eyebrows. Okay, and I'm going to give it a black eyebrow. Okay, a bit too thick. Okay, thereabouts. I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D, and I'm gonna flip it over. Great. Okay, done. And now for the tail, I'm just gonna duplicate this one. Tail. I'm gonna send it to the back by pressing pitch down. Okay, I'm gonna resize it, make it fatter a bit. For the tail, I'm gonna duplicate one more time. This time, it's smaller. Rotate it. Okay, now this snapping can be switched off by clicking this this um, button over here, so it doesn't snap. Right, and pitch down again. And Control D. I'm gonna just flip this down. You can hide it behind pitch down. Okay, so we have the tail. Now, now we have the red bird. Right, you choose the red bird. Okay, now for the tummy, okay, I'm gonna duplicate this main shape, right? 
this shape. I am gonna now before that let me just draw another circle around it for the tummy. Okay. So I'm gonna put white. Okay, but we're not gonna make it transparent a bit. So we can adjust where it's gonna go. Alright, so if you look at this carefully, just right below the eye and near the beak. Okay, so it's about here. And I'm gonna press this one and press shift and click and duplicate and I'm gonna move it over here somewhere far away I'm gonna to go to path intersect right so I have this intersect part over here right and I'm gonna color this white okay I'm gonna press page down page up. okay so I have this now I do not want a stroke over here so I'm just gonna choose, I'm gonna press shift and transparent on the stroke. Okay, I'm gonna push this up a bit. Okay. Alright, so I have to put it over there. Okay. Okay, let's see, I shift the scale this down. Does it work? Perhaps. Okay, I'm just gonna go undo control Z to undo. Okay. Now, as mentioned earlier, right, we have the strokes are not equal. So I'm just going to pick the main objects and I'm going to press stroke again at the bottom here. I'm going to just point 20, for example. 20 is too small. 50. Okay, for this case, 50 is good. Okay, so put this back. And there you have it, the Angry Bird. Now, if you want to use the gradient, press G. G for gradient. Is slide it across, pick a dark color, dark red, and then pick a light red for the bottom part here, and you have that glowy gradient effect. Okay, so if you want to make a smiley bird, just take the rectangle, path, object to path again. Okay, take the shape tool and make the bird smile. All right. So we'll have a happy bird instead. Okay, so that's how we get the angry bird done. All right, so so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and make sure you keep on practicing your Inkscape and subscribe to the ICT Future Skills channel and look out for our next tutorial.